Hey guys, I hope you're having a good time. So we are here again. If you have any question about the class, you can drop an email to me on kurgnos.class.10.2.2 at gmail.com. Uh, this is lab two. Uh, and we'll be talking about uh, how to create a dimension in TM1. So there are three possible way you can create a dimension in, in TM1. First is the manual, you can create manually, then using Excel, and the third is TI process. Depending on the type of uh, dimension you are having, uh, as per your business requirement, you have to select the best option. Um, let's uh, go through one by one. First we'll create manually, then using Excel, then TI process. So, okay, we're having few few dimensions here. Let's say we want to create product. Good idea. That's the channel, this is a small one. So let's create channel. So right click. So you can see in your TM1 server, I have demo server. You will see a few objects here. You can create cubes, you can create dimension, replications, application, processes, chores. In this lab two, we will create dimension. So we'll just concentrate on the dimension. First, we'll create the dimension manually. So let's create a manual dimension. Right click on dimension icon and then select create new dimension edit insert element okay in a dimension there are three types of um, elements you can create you can create consolidated elements you can create simple you can create a string and we'll see all these one by one I mean, we have already gone through in the in the class in the theory session like what all these mean but here in the lab we won't talk about what they are but we'll create uh, um, all these three types of elements one by one so we are creating a time dimension here and time dimension will have 12 months so january february select by default is simple, so we'll select the simple first. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. All right. So you can say we have created these 12 elements. These are called elements of the dimension. Every single like January is an element, February is an element, it's a member of the dimension. Well, and, uh, okay, so we created the simple element now we'll create the consolidate so we'll select consolidate i'll say q1 q2 q3 q4 okay and then we'll select total here all right okay 
so we successfully basically created simple elements then few consolidated elements but the there is nothing in this so considering um, we are not talking about the financial period we are talking about the calendar period so so we'll select these three by pressing control key and then drag and drop in quarter one and we'll select these three and we'll drag and drop in quarter two similarly these three quarter three these three quarter four okay and then we'll select these four I will move it all right so you can see we have created a hierarchy here manually so we have these leaf level elements and then we have these consolidated elements okay this is how TM1 dimension look like. Okay. How we will use, we'll go through this in separate session. Okay. For now, we'll just look at the possible ways and how to create a dimension, to edit the dimension, to add the attributes, to edit the attributes. Okay. The uses of dimension will go through in our next session. Okay, so we created this dimension manually. The second step will just say, okay, we'll save it. We'll say month or say months, and here you go. We have a dimension. Now we'll create using Excel. Okay, so create new dimension. Okay will select all these elements will copy will go to the dimension editor and will say paste okay we'll go here again we'll select copy paste now see even we copy uh, duplicate elements but when you say press all it just keep one and remove the redundant so in a in a dimension you all elements are unique so you should have only unique element in a dimension you can't have duplicate elements in a dimension it will fail or it won't create it I will just remove the root duplication okay We'll go through the weight level indexes one by one. So now, similar what we did with the time dimension, we'll select all these elements and then drag and drop in in all channels. And so, yeah, there you go. So we created second dimension I will name it channel channels all right yeah. so we created uh, one dimension manually second dimension will create it using Excel and the third dimension will create using TI process okay so we have um, We'll create product dimension which got three columns product, product type, and total products. Okay, so we'll just close it, we won't save it, close it, won't save it, and we'll select the process, right click, create new process. Okay, we'll create text. So using TM1, you can 
work with any type of database any type of uh, data source you can work with odbc you can work with text file excel files you can work with the, the cubes the analysis services cube or other uh, oladb tools you can extract data from other dm1 cubes uh, or the views will go will will go one by one we'll see what what does what, how will how will how we can use this okay we can uh, drag data from uh, ibm cognos uh, packages okay so and if you want to do none then none okay if you want to do programming and uh, the whole everything you can do this way as well okay but for now we'll be using text we'll select our file our file located in here ibm custom tm1 ti product all right because this is the standalone one computer installation one server installation so we'll put same name here but if you if your server if your server is on a separate computer then you need to uh, you need to allocate uh, the file on the server as well you need to give a path of the file from the server okay say preview so you can see they created three uh, bring all these data and there are three columns there is no header if there would be header you would have said like this but there is no header we'll just delete it say preview okay you can based on your uh, type of file you can you can delimit it but our file is a comma delimited so we'll use the comma delimiter um so it is it's very it's pretty standard ideal uh, ideal process ideal tools okay so next tab is the variable tab so there are three columns so turbo integrator created three three columns here the type of the columns are string simple values and we'll go through what does it mean so let's name the variables so first variable is v product second is product type and third is total product what does it mean we will see in when we'll create the cube okay uh, so we won't talk about we'll just concentrate here on ti process to create the dimension okay so there are two types of variable whether numeric or a string but when we because we are creating a dimension so in a dimension there could be only one type of element which is a string okay so everything must be if we'll say numeric and you will say it won't accept all variables mapped either element or consolidated must be type of a string okay so when you create a dimension using ti process all elements should be type of a string okay now v product is the lowest level so we'll select the element then product type is consolidation total product is consolidation as well okay then we'll press the map because we are not creating a cube so we'll press the dimension we'll name our dimension it's not existing one we are creating a new dimension we'll say product okay and in the element order the best practice is select automatic and hierarchy okay then we'll go to consolidation product type the child variable is product and total product the child variable is product type we'll order them name this is a bug in tm1 
when you do this it just lost you the window all right now the four tab is advanced the way is being done you have it create uh, some some code for you and you need to press every single tab in advanced tab if you won't press any if you will leave one of the press one of the tab uh, exposed there may chance it will not create a dimension but for now we have pressed only and then schedule we're not scheduling any uh, now we'll look at the scheduling in in the next lab okay so we'll say save and we'll say create product csv use the csv file so in the csv say all right and we'll just say run okay saying process completed successfully so this blue arrow you will press run it you can run it from here or you can run it from here okay so it created a product document show for us and the way uh, uh, we ordered it is looking perfect okay this is why we ordered first by hierarchy and then second by name look at this um so we'll finish our lab for creating dimension here only and in this lab we gone through creating a dimension manually uh, manually and then uh, using excel and then ti process if you have any question about uh, about this lab or the class we had earlier you can just drop an email me on cognos.class.10.2.2 at gmail.com and I will arrange separate session with you. So thanks for now and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.